All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Welcome to my first episode of Sports Lab TV podcast show. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm your host, Nate. I am your host, Nate. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, comment, and share the video. If you want to watch the whole podcast, I'm not going to play the whole podcast on my YouTube channel. If you want to catch the whole podcast, you have to go to sports TV slash podcast. That's sports lab TV slash podcast. And you can catch the whole podcast in this um, video on this show. I'm going to continue my commentary on Lonzo Ball and what I felt how I feel about Lonzo Ball and I'm also going to talk some boxing news and why and why I think Canelo Alvarez could possibly be the best Mexican fighter ever so before you come at me and get in my comment section on my YouTube uh, channel gotta watch the whole video and listen to the whole podcast the problem with doing these type of videos is people go off the title people go off the title people go off the title and they just react i had a person now a couple months ago and it started with this video that i did alonzo ball being a solid point guard his fans had an issue with me using the word solid as if that's a bad term to use for a point guard in the NBA. And a lot of times is people think it's easy playing in the NBA or they get desensitized when you watch sports. It's very difficult. It's very, very difficult to be to be an athlete, to make it to the top. My hat goes off to anybody that has accomplished their goals and as a professional athlete, whether it be soccer, whether it be boxing, basketball, any sport. So in no way I'm trying to talk down on any athlete or any player. I know how difficult, I know how hard it can be. But they, they took the term solid as if it was an insult. And then I did another video responding to his fans and I brought out stats. I brought out stats and they were upset. His fans went in on me. Now, before I go any further, because this platform is sponsored friendly, I got sponsors and I got affiliates that I got to be conscious and to and how I promote my platform. So if there's going to be any cussing or any disrespect, I'm going to delete your comments. Flat out. I'm just going to delete your comments. Be respectful. That's all I ask. And also, too, don't treat me like. I don't want to use that term. I'm trying to re rephrase from using certain terms. Treat me with respect and listen to the video before you comment. Listen to the video. Too many of you guys go off the title. Okay, so this is what I think of Lonzo Ball. This is what I think of Lonzo Ball. I think Lonzo Ball is a solid, good point guard right now. Go watch my other videos. I pulled, I pulled up his stats. I pulled up his stats. He's averaging 12 points, about seven assists, six rebounds. That's solid numbers is it good yes yeah, it's, it's relative because with him i say it's good 12 points because he changed his shooting form his his um his um percentage percentage shooting percentage actually has improved and he's he, he's a team player he's a decent defender he's a good passer I think if he was on a better team, his assists would be higher. I think if he was on a better team, his assists would be higher. He's fun to watch. Is he a great scorer? No. I said that in my videos. He's not a great scorer. And that's fine. That is not his game. 
Is he a great rebounder? No, he's not. He's a good rebounder. He's a good, solid point guard for the team that he's on. The problem you have is you have his fans hyping him up like he's the future star in the NBA. And when I when I speak modest of him, they're offended because I'm not like all these other YouTuber who is kissing up to him. Nope. Nope. One guy, one guy was trying to tell me I don't watch, I don't watch NBA. All I do is read stats. No, I watch this game. I watch this game. I watch this game. I watch been watching Lonzo Ball play since he was a junior in high school. Watch this game enough. I watch this game. I watch a lot of NBA. I watch college basketball. I watch too much basketball. I do. I do. He's a solid, good player. Is he the face of the Pelicans? Nope. Zion Williamson is. Zion Williamson is. Lonzo Ball is not the face of the Pelicans. He's not. And I'll show you. Let me pull up the stats. I can name three players that have better stats on the Pelicans, better stats than him. Three players. I mentioned players that came out the same year, came out the same year, and came out came out after him in the draft or putting up better numbers, and they were upset. And the players that I mentioned had made the All-Star and led their team and was on the verge of leading their team into the playoffs. The Pelicans are a fun, flashy team. He is not the face of the Pelicans. He is not. I don't care what you guys say. I don't care how many N1 videos or highlight videos you guys watch of him on YouTube. He is not. If he was that great, the Lakers wouldn't have traded him. If he was that great, the Lakers wouldn't have traded him. He's injury prone. He's in it. And, and, to the, and, and they were trying to argue with me. Well, he gets injured. He, well, 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 he hasn't had a full. He hasn't had a full season. That's my point. That's my point. How can he great? Can he really be if he's constantly getting injured? It's not his fault. It is what it is. It's not a knock towards him. He's not a bad player. He's not a sorry player. He's just not a great player. Lonzo Ball is not a great player. He's not. The numbers prove. Otherwise, he the Lakers. He was with the Lakers for two seasons. They never made the playoffs. He was with the Pelicans. The Pelicans wasn't on on the verge of making the playoffs. It's two different teams. He gets all. He was getting a lot of playing time. He is who he is as of right now. He can improve. Yes, he can improve his his scoring, his rebounding assists. Yes, yes. I'm talking about right now. But yet. There's going to be somebody who's not going to watch the whole video. I'm, um, what, eight minutes in. They're not going to watch the whole video, and they're going to say all my talkie points. I'm like, I, and I, a lot of them is like, I said that already. I said that already. You guys not watching the videos. So let's pull up Pelicans. The, uh, the Pelicans. Let's go over the stats of three guys, three players. We're actually putting up better numbers than him. Okay, so I'm right here. Oh, they don't like when I pull up stats. Brothers are in their feelings. In their feelings. They don't like stats. They just go off emotion. One dude look like a broke, a broke Neo, cockeyed with glasses, trying to call me fat and ugly. (laughs) Because I was bringing up stats. He was irate over this video. Not this video, but the videos that I did. Okay, so let's look at Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson are the faces of the Pelicans. Those two. Brandon Ingram put up 24. Zion Williamson put up 23. 
Drew Holiday put up 19. JJ Reddick put up 14.9. Oops, my bad. I said three. I mentioned four. These four guys, Lonzo Ball, uh, okay. So if Lonzo Ball is great with 12 points a game, what is Drew Holiday? Well, I think Drew Holiday is a good point guard. I think Drew Holiday is a good point guard. He's underrated. But when it comes to Lonzo Ball fans, the n- numbers don't matter. Numbers don't matter. They're, he's great because they say he's great. Off YouTube videos that YouTubers are putting up. I've seen a bunch of YouTube videos after I did my videos, how amazing Lonzo Ball is. I thought, hmm, that's kind of funny. Uh, then somebody tried to say he don't play that much. The guys you mentioned, the guys that you mentioned gets more playing time than him. No, it's the same amount. So let's come down here. Let's go to stats. All the stats don't matter. Stats don't matter to these guys. But how do they draft guys if stats don't matter? How do they draft guys? How do how do guys get scholarships if staff stats don't matter? How do guys get drafted if stats don't matter? How do they determine who makes the all-star if stats don't matter? How do they determine um who's gonna get the big contracts if stats don't matter? Nothing matters. He's just good because I like him. So how great, how great can he be? Let's see. Hold on. Let's pull this up over here. Okay, let's look at his free throws. How great can he be shooting a career average of 40, uh, 48% free throws? This is great. And if he improved on his free throws, his scoring would be higher. How great can he be shooting a career average of 48.4 point, uh, 48%? No, his career is not over. Yes, it's still new. Yes, I know it's still new. But as of right now, this sucks. 48%. Third year, he's third year in the NBA, and he hasn't made an all-star. Hasn't made the all-star. It's third year in the NBA. His field goal percentage increased, yes. His minutes are basically the same. He just needs to stay healthy. His rebounding, eh. Assist seven and ink. Yeah, it, it's yeah. Seven is good. Stills is okay. These are okay numbers. These are okay numbers. These are okay. It don't matter what you guys say. Oh, I want to give a shout out real quick. Shout out to already one. Shout out to already one. Okay. All right. My bad. Instead of three players, there's four players. Okay. Brandon Ingram's putting up 24. Zion Williamson's putting up 23. Drew Holiday is putting up 19. I forgot about JJ Reddick. JJ Reddick is putting up 14.9. JJ Reddick is putting up 14.9. 14.9. Points okay. Now, according to the Lonzo Ball groupies, they feel that Lonzo Ball 
is a great point guard with 12 points a game. What world, what, what NBA are you watching? What world are you living in? Then they want to try to compare him to Jason Kidd. <laughs> Brothers was reaching, reaching. So if Lonzo Ball is great with 12.4 points a game, what's Drew Holiday, who's averaging 19.6? Lonzo Ball's getting seven assists. Drew Holiday, hold on. Drew Holiday is right under him. Drew Holiday gets more steals. Drew Holiday gets more steals. Okay, so let's look at, let's compare point guards. Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday is averaging more points. Um, The assists are pretty much the same. He's getting more steals. You got to be kidding me. Drew Holiday's getting averaging more blocks. Drew Holiday is averaging more blocks than Lonzo Ball. Drew Holiday makes less turnovers than Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball is 3.1 turnovers. Drew Holiday is 2.9. So he gets less turnovers he averages more points he gets more blocks he gets more steals so drew holiday is a better defender yet they will tell you how amazing lonzo ball is drew holiday's numbers are better drew holiday is a shorter player than lonzo ball who's averaging more points who's who's the assist the assist is about the same he makes less turnovers than Lonzo Ball, and he's getting more steals, and he's getting more blocks. Yet they're going to tell you how amazing Lonzo Ball is. And when you pull up stats, stats does not matter. And then they'll say, well, he gets injured. Well, if he had a full season, he would be amazing. That's my point. So if how great can he be if he's constantly getting injured? And if stats doesn't matter, how do they determine who gets the big contracts? If stats doesn't matter, how do they determine who makes the all-star? If stats doesn't matter, how do they even determine who gets the scholarship? If stats doesn't matter, who goes to the Hall of Fame? If stats doesn't matter, all of a sudden when it comes to Lonzo Ball, stats doesn't matter. He's great because I like him. And then anybody who proves otherwise and pull out numbers, they get offended and name call and say you're stupid and you're this and you're that and a whole bunch of other stuff. Just look at the stats. He's a solid point guard. He's not as good as Drew Holiday. I mentioned four guys that had put up better numbers than him. Putting up better numbers. He leads the team and assists barely. Him and Brandon Ingram make three, they average three turnovers per game. But they don't like that. They don't like when you pull up stats, they get in their feelings. Then I start pulling up other players' stats. Then they want to make excuses why other players are better than him. They want to make excuses. They just they want to make excuses. Okay. So let's pull up some boxing news. 